Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to set up and install the Nest Thermostat E. Installation is simple. Check that your system is going to work with the Nest Thermostat E. Begin installation with the Nest app. Install the heat link and thermostat. Finish setup with the app. Everything you need to get started is in the box. You'll also need some basic tools, such as a flat head and Phillips screwdrivers. A power drill and a torch can also help, but aren't required. The Nest app has complete installation instructions, and you'll need to use it to install your thermostat correctly and connect it to Wi-Fi. To use the app for setup, you'll need a compatible phone or tablet. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi password handy as well. Go to nest.com requirements for more information. The Nest Thermostat E works with most boilers, heat pumps, radiant underfloor heating, district heating, zone systems that have more than one thermostat, and other common heating systems. But no matter what type of system you have, make sure you check the compatibility before you make your purchase and begin installation. The Nest Thermostat E easily replaces most thermostats. Most customers can install it themselves. You'll install the heat link in place of your current thermostat and plug in the Nest Thermostat E wherever it's convenient. However, some complex systems may require professional installation. If you have a complex system, or if you simply want someone to install your thermostat for you, contact a Nest Pro installer in your area with our online Pro Finder. They'll install your thermostat, check that it's working properly, and answer any questions you might have. If you're new to Nest, go to Google Play or the Apple App Store to download the Nest app. Open the app to create a free account. Once you've signed into your account, tap the plus sign to add your Nest Thermostat E. If you're already a Nest customer, tap the gear icon in the top right-hand corner of the app home screen. Then select Add Product. Scan the thermostat's code with your phone's camera. The code is on the bottom of your thermostat. If you're having trouble scanning the code, make sure you have good lighting and that you're not casting a shadow. Start with your phone about 30 centimeters away and slowly move it closer. The code doesn't need to fill the box in the app to be scanned. If you still can't scan the code, tap Continue Without Scanning so that you can type it in manually. The Nest app will then guide you through each installation step. Plug your thermostat into a convenient socket. You can move it after you finish setting it up. The thermostat will switch on and connect to the app. If you already have another Nest product in your home, the thermostat may use it to connect to Wi-Fi and the app. You may need to move them closer together if your thermostat is having trouble connecting. When you've finished setup, you can move your thermostat somewhere more convenient. You'll now connect the heat link to your thermostat. Pull out the battery tab and remove the cover. Make sure that the heat link's light is glowing blue. If it isn't, press the button to wake it up. Then scan the code with the app, or type in the entry key manually. You'll find it on the back of the heat link's wire cover. The app will then connect the heat link to your thermostat. You should also place the heat link and thermostat close together so that they can connect easily. The closer, the better. Now that your thermostat and heat link are connected to the app, you can start preparing to install them. Go to your fuse box and turn off the power to your heating system. This will help protect you and your system from high voltage. Check that the power is off by changing the temperature with your current thermostat. Then wait to see if your system turns on. Once you've confirmed that the power is off, the app will ask what kind of thermostat you currently have. In some cases, it will recommend professional installation. If you have a wired thermostat, take the cover off. If you have a wireless thermostat, take the wireless receiver's cover off. It's usually located near your boiler. Take a picture of the wires so that you have a record before you disconnect anything. The app will guide you through installation. It will ask you some more questions and give you specific instructions for your system. We'll go through the basic installation steps here, but you'll need to follow what the app tells you to do for your system. Some systems only have two wires to connect, while other systems have more. The app will guide you through custom wiring instructions for your system, step by step. If you're unsure about any of the instructions, contact a Nest Pro installer to make sure your system is wired correctly. The app may also ask you to terminate any loose wires with the blocks included in the box. You may need to get extra terminal blocks if your system has more wires that won't need to be connected to your thermostat. 
If you have a proprietary system, or if you think there might be another problem, the app will ask you to contact a Nest Pro in your area to install your thermostat. Once the wires have been labeled and disconnected, you'll remove your current thermostat or receiver from the wall. Next, you'll connect the heat link to your system. If the old screw holes don't line up with the heat links, you may have to drill new ones. Mark the new holes with a pencil. You can use a spirit level to make sure they're horizontal. Drill the pilot holes with a 5.5 or 6 mm bit and mount the heat link on the wall. Now connect the wires to the heat link. If the app told you to label the wires, use the labels to guide you. You can use the optional trim plate if the wires are interfering with installation or if you need to cover up any old marks on the wall. This generally happens if you're replacing a wireless receiver. When you've finished connecting the wires, install the heat link and trim plate if you're using it. Then put both the wire cover and the fabric cover back on. Go back to your fuse box and turn the power to your system back on. If you have a programmer, you'll set it to always heat. The app will test your thermostat's wireless connection to the heat link. If there's a problem, you may need to move your thermostat closer to the heat link. You'll now finish setup with the app. Let the app know what type of system you have and what kind of fuel it uses. Your thermostat will start with a pre-programmed temperature schedule, but if you ever want to change your thermostat's temperature schedule, you can use the app or the thermostat. Next, you'll choose the eco temperature that your thermostat will use when no one's at home. Choosing a lower temperature can save more energy. Choose a temperature that gives you the best balance. If you ever want to change the eco temperature or your thermostat schedule, go to the settings menu in the app or on your thermostat. When you've finished, check that your thermostat is controlling your system correctly. Try turning the temperature up with the app or your thermostat and check that the heating turns on. That's it. To learn more about the Nest Thermostat E and how to use it, visit our support site.